What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. So I was not going to do a collective reading tonight, but angels wanted me to do a specific collective reading. So I feel like somebody out here needed it. So, and it must be a strong message. So let's see what it is for you guys. So this is going to be your collective reading for April 12th of 2024. Some of y'all could be born on April 22nd because I was about to say 22nd for some reason. So there could be some of you guys born on the 22nd. Even if it's not April, you could be just born on the 22nd. Let me know in the comments if you're born on the 22nd of any month. But let's see what's going on with the collective here. What was so imperative that I had to get this message out to you guys tonight because I thought I was done with my YouTube readings. I was going to go on to personal readings, but seems like there is a special message here. Pissed off. Ooh, somebody mad at you. Getting caught, secrets revealed, exposed, guilty confessions. Soulmate. Oh, no wonder. Mutual love, partnerships, equality, romance, shared values, sexual connection, major choices. And then you got understanding, talking things out, hearing one another out and compromising. Let's do one more. Somebody feels like you're their soulmate, but it says pissed off. Getting caught, secrets revealed, exposed, guilty confessions. Is somebody confessing? Intuition and unbothered. So intuition here, it says the universe is guiding you. Follow your intuition. So there's something about your intuition telling you something about this person. But on the bottom, you got unbothered. It says boy by or girl by losing interest. I don't care. I feel like whoever this is, you've been unbothered by this situation collective. You've been going on doing your own thing, focusing on yourself, on your life. But with the intuition card, maybe this person pissed you off with the pissed off card. I don't know, but you do have the intuition card. So it's something, maybe this person's been coming up in your readings. You could be feeling intuitively. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? I don't know what that was. If that was my chicken, hold on one second. Hold on. Was that my chicken? I don't know what the hell that was. It was weird. But um, sorry about that. I don't know if it was my chicken I have in the oven. Okay, that was weird. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell. My smoke alarm started going off. And then I heard that sound. I don't know what the hell is going on with this reading. But this must be a big one. All right. So sorry about that. <laughs> Fucking Mercury retrograde, right? But anyway, like I was saying, y'all, I don't know if this is a soulmate that pissed you off. But it says talking things out, hearing one another out and compromising. So this person with understanding, this person wants to work things out with you. Whoever this is, it's a soulmate. But your energy is like you're unbothered by this. You're like, girl, bye, boy, bye. It says next. Losing interest, I don't care. So some of you could care less, but whoever this is, it's a soulmate connection between the two of you. And um, I don't know, maybe this person pissed you off. It says getting caught, secrets revealed, exposed, guilty. Maybe this person did something with the pissed off card. They could have pissed you off. They could have got caught doing something they should have been doing. Some type of secret could have been revealed. They could have been exposed or they could be guilty of something. But whatever it is, <laughs> this person feels a very strong connection with you. And I see them wanting to work things out. So let's see what the tarot got. 
They call it murder. I swear it'd be all types of sounds and shit happening during my reading sometimes. It's hilarious. Let's see. Welcome to Jump Rock. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share, and tell a friend about Miss Hawaii Tarot. Tell your neighbor, tell your nappy-headed best friend, tell your bald-headed uncle, tell your stringy-haired cousin, tell your co-worker, tell your whoever, the person that be doing your feet. Tell everybody about Miss Hawaii Tarot. So what's happening between you and this person? What is the energy between you and this person that you have this soulmate energy with? Even though some of y'all are like, whatever about them right now. The Six of Pentacles, the Moon in Reverse. Yeah, some of y'all, something came out about this person or something was revealed. Maybe they tried to hide something from you and it came out. Ooh, the Eight of Wands in Reverse. Some of y'all got this person blocked. I just heard Teresa, Tia, the Page of Cups. Some of y'all either got this person blocked or you do not want to talk to them. They could have even reached out and you just didn't respond. Somebody's name could be Peter. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all could even be talking to somebody else. You could have like a third party. Yeah, whoever this is, you don't trust them. They did something sneaky. They did something they should have fucked. They shouldn't have fucking done. Mm -hmm. Cancer Pisces energy here strongly. Some of y'all got something to do with a third party. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. This person could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. But you got the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords, two of the worst Swords cards. So whatever this person did, they did something fucked up. Some of y'all had something to do with a third party. They did something sneaky. And I see them even apologizing with this Page of Cups in the middle. What's under the Knight of Wands? The Three of Wands in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess. There's your intuition again. A lot of you watching this are very tapped in. You could be readers yourself or you're just extremely intuitive. Some of y'all, there's something about a dream here. What is this Six of Pentacles here? The world, queen of wands in reverse, eight of wands. Whoever this is, I see them finding a way to reach out to you. I see, yeah, this person pissed you off for some of you. Especially if you're a fire sign, woo! This person pissed you off, something they did. You could even gave them some choice words. But I feel like they want to close out that cycle and like start fresh with you. What's the moon in reverse? What was revealed? Because some of y'all, something was hidden. Ooh, the nine of swords. Whatever it is, wheel of fortune. Whatever it is, this person, for those of you that it resonates with, if they tried to hide something from you or something, some type of secret came out, they're very embarrassed with the nine of swords. They feel really guilty about it. Very, very embarrassed. That I see. And I see them losing sleep over this. I see them feeling anxiety because of this. So whatever they were trying to hide. And if they, if this person didn't get caught, like, you know, if there was nothing they were trying to hide from you. Then I see them wanting to reveal something to you, but feeling guilty about it. The wheel of fortune is here. Sagittarian energy. So I see positive change. What is this eight of wands in reverse? The hang one in reverse, which is the hangman. Pisces energy, the ace of swords. This person is going to reach out to you some way, somehow. I don't care if you got them blocked. They may make up another page. They may call you from another number, a friend's phone. They may have a friend reach out, family member, but I see them reaching out. I feel like a lot of you are done with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. 
Some of y'all are like, you, you know, you felt like you put a lot of effort into this and you were real patient with this person. And some of y'all feel like whatever they did kind of drew the line. What's this page of cups? Two of wands. Three of pentacles. Again, there you go again. The knight of pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all could be earth signs. They're trying to figure out how they could like <laughs> rebuild with you. They're, they're coming up with some type of plan. What's the three of pentacles in reverse? But some of y'all are like, no, like the queen of pentacles. The eight of wands again. Yeah, look, and the queen of swords. Some of y'all, something happened with a message. You could have found, saw a comment, found a message, a voicemail I heard, a phone call, email, something. There, there's two queens here. So some of y'all, something happened with a third party. And that could have been your last, the last fucking straw. What's the seven of swords? The judgment. Mm. This person knows they were wrong. Whatever they did. See, justice is here. Libra energy, Scorpio with the judgment and the ace of wands in reverse. Some of y'all, this person completely has turned you off with whatever it is they did or whatever it is that was revealed to you about them. And it was public too with that six of wands. So it could be something online, like it could be something other people see, other people know for some of you. Some of you, this person could be in the public eye. They could be popular, famous. What's the five of wands here? I mean, I'm sorry. I said the five of wands, <laughs> the five of swords. Yeah, I see you keeping your options open now. The moon in reverse again with the lovers in reverse. Damn, they fucked this connection up. What did this person do? Damn. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces here. Again, it's showing me like some of y'all, some of y'all had this picture painted of the type, like who this person was and whatever it is that they did that was revealed to you about them. It's like you see them in a completely different light now. Like you could have really placed this person on a pedestal or really thought very highly of them. Cause I'm getting whatever they did or whatever. It's like, you did not see this person like, like that at all. And that sucks. Cause I know what that's like when you're really like, you're really rooting for somebody, you know what I mean? And they really got it going on. And then bam, they do some shit and you like, that shit came out of left field. I was not expecting your ass to act that way or do that. I'm getting that type of energy. There's something here about a snake. Somebody could have like a snake tattoo, a dragon tattoo. Somebody could be born on the 8th, all right? The 17th, the 18th is here, the 6th, the 3rd, the 7th. What is this Knight of Wands? It's like you see this person completely differently now. But this person, Six of Cups in reverse, they do not want to let you go. Ten of Cups in reverse, the Hermit. Virgo energy, they do not want to let you go. Like some of y'all, this person has even talked to their family about this. And even a family is like, yo, you fucked up. Like you did wrong. For some of you. Um, some of y'all just want to just date, see what else is out there. Um... Some of you feel like this person will not give you your happily ever after. You feel like if you were to stay with them, they will cause you misery or you would, or they would end up disappointing you again and making you very unhappy. So some of you are really trying to forget this person and just move forward, date, explore, see what else is out there. Like, it's like you realize that, you know, this person is not the only person that's out there in the world. There's other people interested in you. Some of you could be Virgos. You see Ace of Cups behind that. So some of y'all want to pursue new love and see what else is out there. Anything else you need to know about this person? The 
five of cups. This person is hurting though. I can't lie. Like, I gotta be honest with you. I'm not trying to, you know, baby them or anything like that or make you feel bad. Five of cups, nine of swords. They definitely are really sad. They could even be crying over this. <laughs> they definitely wanna make amends with you with this five of pentacles in reverse. They wanna get back on good terms with you. The devil in reverse, the knight of cups. This person's in love with you. Capricorn energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Who, whatever it is, like if it was something toxic or I see them wanting to like change with this devil in reverse. And I'm not just telling you that to make you feel good. Like the devil in reverse means they're trying to like say this person, I don't know. Say this person had a sex addiction or something like that. I see them working really hard to, to um, not be an addict anymore. Because the devil in reverse is about trying to like, you know what I mean? Become a better person. Like anything that has a toxic hold over you, you releasing it and taking back your power. So I do see this person trying to change because of their feelings for you. But they do feel really, really bad. And they are losing sleep over this. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's up to you how you want to proceed. Um, I'm going to give you your advice in the extended. Because I want to see, you know, what the universe feels like you should do. But this is a very strong soulmate connection. Everybody's situation is different. So don't yell at me. And I'm not going back to his big stinking ass. Like, you know what he put me through? Like, okay, you know what she put me through? I get it. You know, everybody's situation is different. There are a lot of people who tap into these collective readings. But for a majority of you, it does seem like, you know, this person does feel guilty And they are trying to turn over a new leaf and change. So let's go into the extended now collective. Let's see what can you expect from this person in the future. All right. I just heard Drea, Andrea, Andre, Rebecca, uh, Vivian. Somebody think it be Vivian, Abby. Natanya, Natalia, Natasha, Murray. Somebody's name could be Murray. I heard that strongly, like Murray. Um, Elliot. Somebody's last name could be Thornton. Um, what other names am I getting? I think that's it. Melanie. Marilyn. Monty, somebody that could be Monty. Lloyd, I just heard Lloyd very strongly as well. So let's go into the extended now. So like I said, in the extended, we'll pull Oracle cards, we'll pull tarot, we'll get you some advice, we'll see what's happening, what you can expect from this person in the future. If you wanna book a personal reading with me, you can email misshawaiireadings at gmail.com. My Instagram and my TikTok is Miss Hawaii Tarot. And if you want to become a member of the channel or check out my astrology Patreon, that information is in the description box. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend about Miss Hawaii Tarot. I love you guys. Thank you again for getting me to 100K. I really, really appreciate that. All your views, all your likes, your subscriptions, your donations. I value you guys so much. You guys are my heart and I'm here with you guys forever. All right, you guys enjoy your weekend. I love you. I will see you guys in the extended. And if not, I'll see you guys on the next reading, okay? You be blessed, be well, keep your head up, stay prayed up, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.